Okay, so here is the new iPod Nano, and that thing is really razor thin. Let me do some size comparisons for you so you can actually appreciate how thin it is. Here is the iPhone 3GS. You can see that it doesn't even look like a shadow next to it. I mean, it is just so small. Here is the Apple Bluetooth headset, which is known for being quite slim. You can see it looks like the fat cousin next to the Nano. I mean, there's really nothing there. And on the back, there is the camera that everybody's talking about. This is quite shiny. It looks like it's going to be a fingerprint magnet and uh, maybe a little scratchy. But uh, the lens uh, to make note of. So let me go ahead and turn this off. So I stopped that recording. One of the really cool features that I didn't necessarily expect with the iPod Nano are some of the great effects that they have. Now, unfortunately, you can only access these effects before you start recording. You can't make transitions as you're going, but there are a lot of really cool ones. So let me show you what they are. To access them, you just hold down the home button, and you get a whole list of them here. And let me go ahead and walk you through what they are. Move the camera up, and I'll go to a little bit of a black background. Black and white, x-ray. Keep scrolling down. You get film grain, thermal, security cam, cyborg, and I'll show you what some of these look like. Bulge, Kaleido, motion blur, mirror, some of the things that maybe you're familiar with from Photo Booth. Light tunnel, dent, stretch, twirl, and I believe that is it. So let me give you a quick demonstration of what some of these look like. You may have seen the cyborg one in my quality overview. Let's pick thermal, for example. Let's see what thermal looks like. Go ahead and select it. And now... So these videos are archived by date. And you go ahead and view the ones that uh, were recorded. It, look, it looks like the date is... Uh, so we'll play back. Pick this one. It's 30 seconds long. And you'll be able to hear me talking. I can turn it for playback. Use the accelerometer. Go ahead and hit play. And you can adjust the volume using the scroll wheel. It actually sounds pretty good. Let me show you what that sounds like with some music. So you don't have to hear me all the time. So I'll go back up to music. And just like previous generation iPod Nanos, this has an accelerometer so you can scroll through via cover flow. So I'm in Green Day here. I'll just pick a song very quickly so I don't get into any copyright issues. And... Um, So, just a quick sample of how the speaker sounds on the new iPod Nano. And I can tell you that it's very loud and certainly easy enough to listen to if you're cleaning up your kitchen or whatever. You just want to hear some music, you don't have your headphones. Not a problem. So, speaking of headphones, you actually need them for something other than listening to music. And you need the ones that come with the Nano. So, let me show you why that is. We get out of music. This now has a built-in radio, which is quite neat. So go ahead and select the radio. And now it's telling me no radio signal. Please plug in headphones for radio connection. So go ahead and plug the headphones in. We've got them handy right here. All right, so that is a full FM radio transmitter. It's actually not bad. So you can go through and you can find, scroll through manually. You can sort of scan. And that does not come through the speaker, it'll just come through the headphones. But the reception does seem to be quite good. You can see I've got the volume all the way up from the headphones, and you can still sort of hear it. All right. So now for the radio, it works. It's a radio. People have been asking for this. Needle right there is moving as I'm yelling at it, yelling at the Nano. And you just hit record, and it archives them just as you would expect, as it did the videos by date. We'll go back. It also has a pedometer and a few other cool features that you found on sort of some previous other nanos, but the pedometer is uh, most notably one of the new features. So there's your pedometer. You can go in and sort of set it. Just go in and set your weight and set some information about yourself. You can go ahead and check out some of the settings. Weight, daily step control, screen orientation, and uh, your history.